People have sued over the stupidest things ever, whether it's because their spaghetti only came with 4 meatballs instead of 5, or maybe because they only received one napkin. And yes, that has happened before. I don't really know the full story behind it, so here's just a small summary about it. Anyways, recently a woman decided to sue the Kellogg's company over $5 million because her Pop-Tart didn't have enough strawberry filling. I haven't had a Pop-Tart in a very long time, and more specifically a strawberry one, and I don't really pay attention to the filling because all I care about is the taste. I guess this woman wanted more bang for her buck, and if that's the case then she should just consider buying store brand ones. Not sure if you could tell the difference between taste, but who knows, maybe there's more strawberries inside. Here's what the lawsuit says. Whether a toaster or pastry contains only strawberries or merely some strawberries is basic front label information consumers rely on when making quick decisions at the grocery store, the lawsuit reads. Strawberries are the product's characterizing ingredient believe they are present in an amount greater than is the case. It's funny how people sometimes believe the labels in front of the product as if they're actual facts. Let's say for example you're at a store and you're looking at some uh, juice products and one says that it contains real fruit inside but when you go to check the ingredients on the back it says it only contains like 5 or 10 percent. The sellers technically aren't lying they're just purposefully avoiding saying how much it actually contains. But if you really care what's inside of your food, why not make it yourself? That way you know exactly what you're eating. And you wouldn't have to go through all the trouble of making a lawsuit because your Pop-Tart is made out of pears and apples. I don't think I really care about the outcome of this because it's just something really fun to talk about because of how goofy it is. Whether the woman wins the lawsuit or not, who knows, anything can happen. Anyways, have a good day.